Thanks for joining me. My name is Sterling, and I'll be uh, conducting this uh, tutorial um, on how to install Tomboy Notes on a Mac operating system. Uh, first things first, uh, I'm using the Mac 10.5.6 operating system, so uh, if anybody has anything different, it should really work, but um, please note that this is the one that I'll be using today. All right, so let's get started. Um, I've posted the links to install Tomboy Notes, a, real, a great open source application. I use it every single day. Um, it's on my website, thenetduck.com. You can go there and then click on How To's and then How to Install Tomboy Notes on a Mac operating system and there's really only one step it's pretty easy all you gotta do is install the mono framework uh, the mono framework is about 92 megabytes and um, it's actually just kinda like the Java underbelly so just go ahead and click on that um, I've already downloaded it so I'll spare you the watching me download it and then um, and then you install it so mono And go ahead and install that by double clicking the, the package. And it's going to ask you for your password. Go ahead and install that. I apologize if there's any background noise, by the way. I, uh, <laughs> doing this in my girlfriend's dorm. All right. Um, all right. So, uh, you just close this. Um, the next thing you're going to do is, uh, install the Tomboy application right here. Go ahead and download that. You know, um, I've already downloaded that. So, um, I'll just go to my, uh, desktop here real quick mount that and it's really easy to install you just select it you kinda have to really select it good and then just drag it into your applications and as you can see um, I now have installed Tomboy Notes for the Mac operating system so it's real exciting so um, boy. There we go. We'll just open that up. And as you can see, it's got the same logo as the G, uh, GDK version. And uh, it actually operates just the same. I've already added uh, into my uh, .configure file all my old notes that I used to have in my Linux desktop, uh, which I actually currently do use. But right now, I use it in a virtual machine. Um, and on my website you can see here that I show you how to open the terminal and um, view your hidden files by typing in this command line into your terminal. Uh, after you've done that you can go to this location right here dot config slash tomboy and drag all your old tomboy notes in if you are upgrading or switching over from a Linux box. As well as uh, I have a list of bugs here uh, in case you guys are wondering why something's not working. <laughs> uh, thank you to armstrong-clan.net for creating this uh, Tomboy file. Thank you to Novell for hosting the Mono Framework. And thank you to this guy who has a blog at automorphic.blogspot.com for providing me with an easy way to install this. If you go to his website, he'll also teach you how to install it on a Windows machine. Um, I just don't mess with Windows. I haven't used Windows for the last probably four years, so uh, unless it's in a virtual machine for maybe one application, so uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to provide that. But uh, you can go to his website, and um, he'll he'll be able to provide you with that. 
Um, great. If you guys uh, need any other tutorials, be fr feel free to post. Um, I'll I'll make any tutorials for Mac or Linux. I, pr I prefer Linux to be honest, but um, it's a long story. I'm kind of forced to use uh, the Mac operating system right now. I, it's the only thing that's working for me so far. Um, all right. So uh, I hope this helps somebody out on the internet. All right.